Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video, I'm going to introduce to you how to take a Google Sheet that has URLs that point to certain files. For example, for me, it's images, and download them in bulk, a lot of them at once in a very, very short time, very easily, rather than going one by one to the browser, opening a new tab, clicking on Save As, etc. So let's jump into it. All the instructions are going to be shared right here. We're going to make an article as well, and let's jump into it. So first thing you need to do is extract the file name, and then the next thing you need to do is take the uh, make a command to put it on your computer in a script, and then run the script, and you'll get all the files. So let's jump into it. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go here and use this command right here. Everything starting from equals all the way to the end. You're going to paste it right here. And what you're going to need to make sure is that your cell A3, for example, A3 and A3, needs to change to whatever the first cell of your uh, URL in your sheet. Maybe you're using A1, for example, or maybe you're using C7 or whatever it is. Make sure you change it in both places here and here. Once you got the file name, for example, right here is the file name. It extracted it. You're just going to drag it all the way down and get the rest of the files for the rest of the files that you're trying to download. The next thing you're going to have to do is copy right here the information depending if you're using Mac or Windows. They're very, very similar. There's a slight difference between the two and I'll show you more details. So for Mac, I'm using Mac. I'm going to copy right here and I'm going to paste it right here. Don't forget that you have also the cells A3 which takes the full URL in this case and then it outputs the B3 which is just the file name. That's just the command. Make sure you change it to the, the fitting cells for you and then drag all the way down. If you're using Windows, you're going to take this from the equals. You're going to drag it down. Now you have a full list. So now we finish with everything we need to do for the actual Google Sheet. Now we need to actually open our terminal or our command line on Windows and put in the code and then run that and we'll get all our files. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to open my terminal. If you're using uh, Windows, you're going to use a command line. Um, and you're going to go here and you're going to go to the place that you want to download all your files. So for example, I'm going to make a new directory called image2. Just for example, let's say I want to want to download everything into image2. Okay? So now I don't have anything in my folder. Now I'm going to actually create a new file right here. I'm going to create a new file, for example, called file.sh. And I'm actually going to put this in the beginning of the file. And then I'm going to take everything that I did for my commands, all of them, and I'm going to paste it right here, and I'm going to save the file. And now I'm going to actually change my permissions to be able to write. Okay, right here. Good. And now all I need to do is just run this file. So let's go here, file.sh. And if I click here, that's it. It downloaded everything to it. So if I look at my folder, I can see all my files are downloaded right here. Everything's ready. So that is it. That's very, very simple for Mac. Let's talk about the differences for Windows. And I apologize, I cannot show it because I don't have a Windows machine, but it's very, very simple. So the first thing, I'm going to jump back a little bit before. In order to get the URLs right here, all you need to do is go to the Windows one and take everything from the equals and put it here, right here. Obviously, make sure you change the B3 and A3 if you need it. If everything's okay, you just drag everything down. The next thing you're going to do is actually copy this, copy this, and then you're going to go to your command line. You go to the start, run, CMD, type in cmd.exe or cmd, and then you're going to uh, basically create a file called uh, whatever your file name, for example, file.bat, right? File.bat. You're going to edit that in the notepad or in the command line. And you're going to basically just copy this whole thing. You don't need to add this extra row just like we added in Windows. You're just going to copy all of these inside. And you're going to save it using your notepad or your command line. And then you're just going to go to your folder, double click, double click on the file, and it's going to download it. That's it. That is very simply. Make sure you put the file.bat in the folder you want to download all the files, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very simple summary. If you have a URL, a lot of URLs, and you want to download certain files, for example, images or PDFs, etc., in bulk, all you need to do is follow this step. I'm going to link this in the YouTube comments or in the YouTube description, excuse me. And you need to create the file name. You need to extract the file name, use the command here, 
you need to create the curl, which are the, the command to download the files. You need to create a file in the folder you want, run it, put the uh, code inside, run it, and then enjoy what you did. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. We're happy to answer. We're here to create a community, to create uh, interesting articles, how-tos, things that help us, things that help you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you liked it, subscribe, share, say hello, um, like, you know, and just let us know what you think about these videos. We'll be making more and more all the time. Please subscribe. And uh, we're uh, happy to uh, have you guys watch our videos. Thank you, guys.